plaintiff, Angela Robinson, dated the defendant despite their 24-year age difference. Angela claims their relationship went south after the defendant caught her cheating. And since then, the defendant has refused to return her property. So she's suing. Defendant Craig Williams says he still loves and cares about Angela, but he can't get past the cheating. Craig claims when he caught Angela with another man, she tried to say he was just a friend. Then he caught her cheating a second time. Craig's countersuing for storage fees, childcare, and a loan. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, um, we used to date. I met him in 2015. Um, he 24 years older than me. It's um, going for that pension. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you had to wait a few years for a pension, man. No, uh, no, it wasn't for no pension. Um, we uh, initially started hanging out. He asked that I want to kick it with him. I said, sure. He wanted to uh, like be in a relationship like early on, and I told him, no, let's just be friends, go with the flow and everything like that. So we was hanging out. Um, like a year later, I told him we could be together. Um, I told him, okay, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend because we was together all this time. You know, we had a good time and everything. How did things go? In our relationship? Mm -hmm. Good, it was good. He took care of me, um, helped me with my school and everything, my daughter. So things turned sour. He caught me like cheating on him in, in June. Why'd you do that? Um, I was just, um, I guess, like bored, um, making the wrong decisions. So after that, things went sour. He caught me cheating and everything. A second time? The first. The oh, first. okay, just one second. Mm -hmm. A second time also? He caught you a second time? No. He talking about something else. Pardon? He talking about another incident. <laughs> a second. <laughs> That's what you do, that's what you do. But you the one started down that course of right. Uh, right. testimony. So he thought he'd add on, and I thought I'd get some clarification. But we can go um, somewhere else with the uh, testimony. And that is the problems you all had that caused you to break up. What happened? OK, so yeah, I ended up being with somebody else. That's he what found I'm... out, um, and then since then, we've been into it because he won't Me he too. wouldn't return my stuff, and we kind of uh, we been, we try to work it out, and it just didn't work. Okay, like, let me uh, allow him to give some background on it, sir. First of all, I still love her and still care about her. Uh -huh. But as far as the cheating thing, I caught her like red-handed, you know, cheating or whatever. And how? Oh. Okay, one day that she came over the house and um, she washed all her clothes and everything and. The next morning, I dropped her off to school. And after I dropped her off to school, I haven't heard from her none that day. So I'll call him over and over and over and over and over. Why? Uh, see what happened to her. So then, she then, has a timeline to get back from school? Right. How much time? Well, I usually would pick her up like 3.30 or something like that. I know. So and and didn't take her home, but she, she said, oh, no, I'm catching the bus. I'm all right. I'm catching the bus or whatever. Oh, OK. So you probably then, was strange that suddenly you want to take the bus or uh, Right. Otherwise. Then I called her and called her all that day. Didn't get no answer. The next day, I called her and called her. So I um, decided I'm going to drive over there to the, her sister house and see what's going on. I had her. She left all her clothes inside my car and everything. So I went over there to take out her clothes. And she's, I woke up, and she's sitting on another man's lap, straddling. And How could you see that? I walked, she was sitting on the porch, out in the open. Quiet. And I told her, I said, well, you know, um, I, we, we sip and talked about this the night before that all of this, you know, not, I don't want to hear, you know, you messing around with nobody after you messing around with anybody. I'm through messing around because I don't want to be bothered with it no more. And I turned around here looking to see if she was just sitting on the guy's lap. Then I said, who is this? She said, oh, this is my friend. <laughs> Friends have benefits. Uh, she didn't say that, obviously, but that's your <laughs> assumption. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. 
after that, I said her stuff was in my storage. I said, well, it looked like you're gonna have to pay me for my storage. It was to turn around here and have me run around doing everything for you and your child and everything. And you, you out cheating. And like a few nights before we laid in the bed, she said, oh no, I'm not gonna never cheat on you or whatever. And I catch her. Then she's, about a few weeks ago, she wanna rekindle this here. And then turn around here, Two days ago, she called me and said, I could never talk to you ever again, all over again. I was like, ah. And she said, why? Because the other boy, he was in the background. How do you know? Because I heard his voice. You could hear his voice? Mm Mm-hmm. That happened two days ago? Um, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. And had you intended to break up with him and just didn't know how to tell him, and so you felt that you were gonna find an easy way out by yeah. letting him catch you? Uh, no, nah, that it ain't Cause you gotta be slicker than that, that's my point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, no. It, women are usually a lot slicker than the man in cheating. Oh, all these women gonna get mad at me after. <laughs> <laughs> Some women do cheat, and those women usually, from my observation, understanding, discussions with other men, discussions with other women. They say they're slicker. The men get caught all the time. Women never get caught, except for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got caught twice. Go ahead, ma'am. Tell me what she you're does, suing them she about. She does a lot of lying. She lies a She lied lot. today. She admits, sir. She sounds well, like she's very lying. honest. She lied on a lot of things. She, she lied. Go ahead, ma'am. I guess it was April of this of last year. He offered to, he got a storage, he offered to put some of my stuff in it because he know uh, I live somewhere, it's a tight space. So he offered to put some of my stuff in storage. I agree. No, you asked me, could you no, put you your offered, stuff in? No, you offered because you said you had Let him finish, go ahead. He, he offered. He offered, he had got a new storage from himself and he offered to put my stuff in there. So I told him, yeah, he came, picked up my boxes and stuff, a couple of things. And so it was sitting in there since April. And then when we got into it, when, with the breakup and their thing. He, he told me he wasn't gonna give it to me unless I pay him and all of this, and he was gonna throw it in the garbage. And I just haven't gotten it. All right, let's hear from you, sir. Well, by me um, holding this stuff, I said that, I said all this here stuff for you cheating and whatever, I said that you're gonna pay me for taking care of your child, you're gonna pay me for, you're gonna pay me for the storage, and and you also owe me five hundred dollars. She turned around here. She gave me. She turned around here a couple of weeks ago. She gave me eighty dollars. That was it. Okay. And you think it's legal for you to withhold her uh, items? And I told her. I told her two months ago that I was gonna give all the stuff to her. She said, "Oh, my mother's storage ain't open yet. And when my mother's storage get open, then I'll." I'll come for my stuff. Is that true? No, not re- no. Not well, really, you were going to say. What do you mean, not, not really? Not entirely true. What was the discussion regarding coming to get your things? Yes. He said he was going, because I needed my suitcase. Uh-huh. He said, I'll give you all your stuff. If you want me to, I'll keep it here in my storage if you need me to keep it. I said, well, could you keep it for a couple of more weeks until I'll be able to make space? He agreed. He got my suitcase after storage. So he offered to continue to keep it. Only reason I didn't take it is because I didn't have space at the moment. But he he did. He okay. Did offer. He offered. Okay. Well, then how can you sue the man if he offered to give you your things? Because he took it back. He recanted his statement. Sir? Did you change um, your mind again? And- no. Well, I, in a way, I said it, but in a way, I didn't. Oh, and then she turned, <laughs> hold on. 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 Judge. Hold on. Judge. <laughs> She came, um, I told her, I said, oh, I should throw all this stuff in the garbage. And turned around here, she came over, her and her niece. The suitcase was sitting right there in the garage by the dresser. And she said, where's my suitcase? I said, I ain't got it. I didn't want to put it back in the storage. Oh, so you put it back in the storage. Took all my stuff inside the garage, started throwing stuff everywhere. She took rubbing alcohol and started throwing rubbing alcohol on me. Her niece turned around here and spraying mace all in my face. And I pressed charges. 
I pressed charges and everything, but I haven't, when then, after that, then they called me, Judge Mathis called me. And then I said, well, I'll go through this here before I completely depress the okay. complete charges. Okay, your counterclaim, storage fees, child care, and unpaid loan. Okay. How does she owe you for that? Um, she has her stuff in my storage for over a year. Um, How much was the agreement to pay? It wasn't an agreement. All right. So child care. How does she owe you for child care? Um, it wasn't an agreement to pay, but I took care of her daughter for three months. Take care of her how? Um, while she was in school, I would take her daughter and I would keep her daughter all all day while she in school. You retired, obviously, or you um, work nights. No, I'm, I'm at home on disability. Okay. And loan. How does she owe you for that? What loan? Well, me loaning her money, loaning the money, and loaning the money, and then she's turning around here and say, oh, I'm going to pay you, and I have to take her so long not to pay, and I turn around and say, oh, forget it, and so whatever. So she agreed you know, to repay did. you? Yes. But and you then just I said, it. uh oh, you said forget <laughs> it. Right, I did. I said, did say that. I did say that at, at one time, I did. All right, and, well, you can't change okay. your mind and as much as you do. Pay well, I, was, I said I was in a way, and in a way, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, well, now it's well, I said I was, but now I say I'm well, not. Well, when she turned me, told me that we was getting back together, and I was uh, like an idiot, oh. turned right here and said, no, I ain't gonna, uh, I ain't gonna bother you for it or whatever, and that's what it happened. All and right. then she turned around here and still cheated on me again. All right, so, sir. And, uh, and All I right. said, uh, after the day, it's, it's completely over. All completely. right. Completely. All right, sir. Um, I'm not suggesting that this is your status or has ever been your status, but if it has been, I think you need a better understanding of the concept of what you're doing. You're, uh -huh. you're a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and sugar daddies, you know, no, uh, no, they I don't would... get loyalty oh, a lot of times from not... the young ladies. These young ladies are more motivated by your money and whatever else you have to offer. But I, said, they I, wouldn't are... a, I wouldn't a sugar daddy. <laughs> well, a man who takes a lot of care and invests a lot of finances into a woman that's less than half his age. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, well you, you, huh? you, uh, whatever y'all say. All right, call just it just sugar, you know, <laughs> sugar daddy. You get hurt next time. Say, well, that's what happens. I know the, what I know the concept They're going to sneak around because daddy. that's how it goes. I know that's that's what this is, so I'm going to let her sneak around. and, Sir, that that's, come on, man. I don't know what this is. There was no agreement for storage fees, child care, and you waived the loan. Uh, as such, I can't grant you anything. However, you admitted today that you withheld her property, and so I must grant her her judgment. You said in the way I did, in the way I didn't. Yeah, well. So I gotta go in the way you did. <laughs> judgment for the plaintiff, sir. Your claim is dismissed. Good luck to you. I just want to say I'm glad about the judgment, and um, he wasn't no sugar daddy, but whatever. I never was a sugar daddy. I, I just, uh, you know, I'm a kind-hearted person that take care of a person, you know, treat them right. I'm finna go and get her stuff and give her all her stuff, and I'm, um, and um, change my telephone number and be bothered with her no more. <laughs>